Tampa police have just arrested a 14-year-old boy for the shooting death of a 12-year-old boy. Another teen was also wounded during that shooting, which happened back in January in a North Tampa home. Justin Shecker is live outside TPD, and Justin, the interim chief there, says if that 14-year-old if that didn't have such easy access to the gun, the other boy would still be alive. That's right, Stacy and the teen facing a manslaughter charge told police he thought the gun was unloaded when he pointed it at the victims. 12-year-old James Lett Jr.'s family describes him as an energetic boy who loved football and playing video games. He was Latrina Jackson's youngest child. My son got killed by somebody who was supposed to be his friend, someone who was supposed to be okay. Police say several children were at this home on East 111th Avenue the afternoon of Sunday, January 8th. One of them brought a gun. No adults were home at the time. Police say the children were playing around with the gun before the same fatal shot that killed James in a bedroom also struck a 15-year-old boy in the mouth. Through their investigation and speaking with the young witnesses, Tampa police identified a 14-year-old boy as the shooter. We have to do better with these guns, these gun laws, these guns. Like, how is a 12-year-old, 14-year-old is a, able to get access to a gun? Interim Chief Lee Burkhaw says this tragedy is a reminder that it's essential for parents and gun owners to always safely store their firearms. For now, it's, it's securing the access. Lock your firearm. Put a lock on it. Don't leave it in your car. And Tampa police say they offer free gun locks. Their project locked and unloaded. Gun owners can pick them up here at TBD headquarters or one of their district offices. We're live in downtown Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.